Hi, welcome to KG Cooking TV. We're here today with Addison and I'm Beryl. And today we're gonna cook a pork tenderloin in our slow cooker. But first we're gonna brown it um, and then stir in some onions and stuff. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell. So we have our burner on a little medium heat, it's heating up, and two tablespoons of olive oil. So Addison, I'll switch sides with you, and if you'll put those onions in there, of course, we will let you stir that around while I touch on this pork tenderloin. That's my job. Ooh. Um, so first off, I rinsed the pork tenderloin. It was one of the packs that come in two, so we rinsed it, and I put one up for tomorrow. We're going to make something else tomorrow. Let me get some, some gloves, at least one. And with the pork tenderloin, there's like a, a silver tendon here, and I'm going to cut through that. This little silver part, that, that needs to come out. So I'm just gonna cut through it. All right. I've got the pork tenderloin and I want to brown it in our slow cooker vessel here, it's the rock rock. So I'm actually going to cut this into three sections so it'll be easy to brown it. Just three even sections. All right. First up, Addison, you want to sprinkle the salt and pepper on it and the Tonys? Sure. And I'll turn it for you with the glove. Oh no, not that side. <laughs> it's already open. It broke off. Mm -hmm. Don't want too much, but not too little. Right. Uh, you do it on this side, and then I'm going to flip it so you can do the same thing on the other side. And some tongues. Every Cajun person loves tenderloin. Oh, of course. Oh God, it's gonna make you sneeze. <coughs> so I'm gonna put it in the pot for you. I want you to turn it up to like number four because we want to brown this meat. Let's set it in there. And she's going to let this brown on all sides. And I'll get her a little spot of uh, tongs. So, we'll brown this so it'll make a good, nice gravy. And the other item I have here is some Louisiana hot sauce, the Tabasco hot pepper jelly. This gives it a sweet and a hot taste at the same time down my peanut butter jelly one day. It'll be super hot. <laughs> Some spicy peanut butter jelly. That Alright y'all, we've got our slow cooker swapped out here. This is the rock crock inside of its stand. We have our pepper jelly in there. Pepper jelly's in there. Addison, you're going to cover it and I'm going to put it on high and we'll cook this for about four hours. And remind you, this is a slow cooker. Not a fast cooker, just a slow cooker. Okay, we'll be back later on to show you the end result, and we're also going to make some sheet pan vegetables. Yummy. See you later. Look 
Okay, y'all, we're back, and it's been a few hours, and I put the temperature on the pork tenderloins, and they actually read over 180 degrees, so they're basically done. So I've turned the slow cooker off, and um, I'll just let them sit here and rest in those good juices. I can smell the garlic and the hot pepper jelly. It smells so good. In the meantime, while this is setting to the side here, I have some vegetables. We're gonna do a sheet pan vegetables for our side. I have the oven on 400, and I have some broccoli here, a little head of broccoli, some squash we had left over, a couple of them out of our own garden, and then I have one of these little packages of baby reds. I'll probably just use about half of these. So I'm gonna cut all these up with our knife and some little bite-sized pieces. We'll start with the broccoli. Taking off the stem. And I'm just gonna get all these little tops off and cut them into small bits. And then we have our squash. I'll use a few of these. These were out of Mike's garden. The crook neck. So my next step is I rinsed the vegetables and poured out as much water as I could. But I still have some in there because I want a little bit of moisture. So I've got some olive oil, really simple. I'm gonna do a quarter cup, so I wanna fully coat our vegetables. Okay. I've got some salt, just a tad of salt. And I have this garlic and herb from Paper Chef. I love this. I have like three more bottles of this on order. Pour that in there. And then I'm gonna toss this around to get everybody coated with the oil and some moisture and the flavor. Now I have my sheet pan. Ooh, my oven's ready. All right, I have my sheet pan ready too. And you can do it just straight on the pan, but I always like to use a parchment paper. Makes it a little bit easier for cleanup. And this particular kind fits this pan just right. Okay. Oh, another thing I wanted to do was to get some of this moisture out of here. Let me put this here. Some of this good flavor out of here. And mix in there. Okay. Mix it up again. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in our pan, and I'm going to put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. I'll check it periodically, but the number one thing is to make sure the potatoes are done. Everything else will just be done.
spread them out. Good even layer, best we can. And then um, in about 25 minutes, we'll be eating our pork tenderloin that's in hot pepper jelly and some roasted vegetables. Yeah. All right, y'all, we're back. We've got our pork tenderloin done, and I went ahead and sliced it because we're about ready to eat. And all I did was take my little tongs here. Look right here and just really hold it tight and then slice it with a really sharp knife. And um, it came out really cute little slices here. And I still have this uh, gravy, so when I serve it on the plate, and we'll take a picture, um, we'll put drizzle some of that gravy on top. I also have our roasted vegetables here. I did it for about 30 minutes and just uh, about midway through, flipped everything over and spread it back out. So, We've got our pork tenderloin. It's so good, we've already been picking at it. And our roasted vegetables. And I wanna remind you that we do have a cookbook. It's called Cajun Cooking Made Easy. This is about 100 of our recipes that have links to all our videos, as well as our YouTube channel. So please consider subscribing, press that bell notification, and always give us a thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. Thank you so much, good night. It's a wrap.